Hey everybody, I wanted to talk about this uh, utility bracket I made up for the Ford 8N tractor here. Um, I'll get into the design of it here in a minute, but to uh, tell the whole story, it started with these heavy duty pallet forks. We got these at an auction, gosh, I bet 20 years ago with some other stuff we were bidding on. And they've just been around here ever since. And uh, after I got the Ford rebuilt about a year ago now, I thought, you know, that would be an excellent way to put those forks to use. So I ended up building this kind of utility rack set up that's three-point mounted off the back of the Ford here. And as you'll see, this bracket is plenty stout for this little Ford tractor. But since I started out with the set of forks, I pretty much built this bracket around them, so that's why everything got to be the way it is. Now to get into the construction of this, the majority of it is this two and a half by two and a half by quarter inch thick square tubing. That makes up pretty much the entire surround. And the uprights that the Cat 1 pins are attached to is four inch by four inch by half inch thick steel angle. So plenty stout way more than this little tractor will ever break. Anything else I used is pretty much just quarter inch thick angle iron of varying dimensions. So once I had it all built, I used some of the excess Ford red paint that I had left over from when I did the tractor chassis and painted the whole thing to match. I think it came out pretty well and it fits the Ford and looks pretty good on it. So now to get into how it works. So now to put the forks on, I have a pin here on each end that's going to prevent the fork from sliding off the frame during operation. This upper curved portion of the fork is going to slide in this gap here and it's going to hang off the mainframe part of the bracket and this upper bar is going to be a, a travel stop so that when the whole bracket is lowered to the point that the forks hit the ground they can't just drift up and unhook themselves from the mainframe so i'll put the forks on and demonstrate how it's going to work The only downside to these is that they are a little bit heavy and can be a little bit cumbersome to uh, manipulate. There, both forks are on. And you can see by the design of the bracket, they could be slid in as close to, as close as eight inches apart from one another, or go all the way out to each end, up against each pen, as far as four feet. So that handles most of the lifting you need to do. And this was mainly designed to be kind of a pallet mover or just for any kind of general light duty lifting. These Fords are really not a heavy duty tractor by any means. So this is just kind of a convenience item just to make this thing a little bit more useful. So that's how the pallet forks work on the back of the little Ford here. They are kind of handy for moving around smaller, lighter loads. If I had to do any high lifting or do any heavier things like that, I've got the bigger tractor with the front end loader. Um, another thing I want to talk about, when I was building this, 
I decided I wanted to add a receptacle for receiver hitch draw bars so that I could uh, put a ball hitch on this thing rather easily and move trailers around. And it's something else that only really works with light duty loads, um, just kind of moving empty trailers, smaller two wheel jobs, stuff like that. So I'll go ahead, I'll get the pallet forks pulled back off this thing and I'll demonstrate how that works too. So that's pretty much the full rundown on what this piece does. It's extra handy. I've been pretty happy with it. And when I made it, I put plenty of different adjustment holes in it so that it could be put on maybe a larger tractor that could have a little bit different three-point geometry than what this little Ford has. And I know these are commercially available. I looked at several different designs and I just really wasn't impressed with any of them. They all seemed rather light duty and I just wanted to custom build something that would suit the needs that I had for it and would do everything that I wanted it to do. So guys, as always, I thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. Hope to see you back next time.